In this video, I'm going to share three prompt engineer techniques that will help you to get better results from ChatGPT and take your AI game to a whole new level. So why prompt engineering is so valuable? Well, if you want to get the most out of ChatGPT and get correct responses and get value out of that, it's essential to ask correct questions or in smart words, do a correct prompt engineering. You see, just as with humans, if you will ask AI stupid questions, you will get stupid answers. So we just need to learn how to make our questions better or how to improve our prompt. I have a quick bonus at the end of the video, so make sure to stick around. The first technique to better prompt engineer within the chat GPT is assigning personality and giving context. What do I mean by that? Well, when you give context to chat GPT, it helps it to understand what you are looking for and what you have in your mind. And when you assign a personality to chat GPT, it helps it to give you a more relevant responses as this person would give you. Let me give you an example. Let's say we need to create some Facebook ads. So instead of just asking ChatGPT to create me a Facebook ads and describing, for example, a niche, I go a little bit in depth. So in this case, I tell it to imagine that you're experiencing a digital marketing specialist, so it will behave like one. It will try to give you the response that the digital marketing specialist would give you. And as the next paragraph, I give it a context. I don't just ask it to create me some ads for the pancake store, I tell ChatGPT to imagine that they have a new client, that their name is Alfredo Pancakes, they're a local cafe, what are their goals and where are they located. So that gives ChatGPT context and it will know how to behave within the situation. So here's what regular person will receive as a response if they will write something like create me Facebook ads for a pancake cafe. They will receive the results, they will be about the pancakes, but they will not be tailored to the goals or to the location or to any of the context that we have for the the specific client. That's why we need to specify everything in here and only then ask it for the ad copy. Now, when it comes to personality, there are several factors that you need to keep in mind. First, it's important to keep your personality tailored to the topic that you're working on. So if you're working for a financial project, you need to have a financial advisor as a personality. Second, it's important to keep your personality consistent through whole chat. If you will change your personality midway within the chat, it can confuse chat GPT and you will start getting worse replies. The second technique to better prompt engineer within the ChatGPT is giving it rules. When you are giving it rules, it will help ChatGPT to understand what type of outcome you're looking for and then it will be able to prepare its response better. So going back to our Facebook ad copy example, here is what the rules would look like. So I would specify that I not only want the ad copy, but I want the primary text and the headline. Then I specify the amount of characters for each one of them, giving ChatGPT rules. And the last one is that I specify how the primary text should be formatted, that it should have one emoji and it should be broken into the paragraphs. And as you can see, this response is much better. So in the beginning, we have a relevant emoji, which is the pancake. Then we have the ad copy about our location. And in the end, we have the headline that fits perfectly within the 90 characters limit. Now, where it comes to rules within the chat GPT, there are several things that you need to know. First, it's super important to be specific. The more specific your rules are, the more likely you get the reply that you're looking for. Second is that there is no limit in the amount of the rules. So type in as many rules as you need to make it work. And the last thing is that same as personality rules need to be consistent. So do not change the mid chats, try to stick them from the very beginning. And the third technique that will tie everything together is multi-step prompts. So sometimes one prompt isn't enough to give the chat GPT enough context and let it understand what you are trying to achieve. In that case, you will want to use the multi-step prompts to push chat GPT to understand the sequence of logic that you are trying to pursue. Coming back to our Facebook ad copy example, instead of asking for the ad copy right now, what I can do is first ask ChatGPT to generate audiences and understand who this ad copy will target. So I've added a quick prompt asking ChatGPT to generate three targeted audiences and explain why we want these audiences as well. Now, based on that prompt, ChatGPT was able to generate me three different audiences that it thinks should perform well for my location. What I can do after that is that I will use the same prompt I use for creating ad copy, but I will tell it to target specifically the audience number three. And as you can see what ChatGPT did, it was able to generate me a copy specific to the audience it created before. So we given ChatGPT even more context to understand what we are looking for. If you are unsatisfied with the results, there are several things that you can try. The first way is to tell ChatGPT directly what you didn't like about the ad copy and asking it to recreate it. So in my case, I would say rewrite this ad copy using Gen Z slang. And just like that, our ad became hilarious. So what's poppin' fam? If you are looking for a dope breakfast or brunch spot, you gotta check Alfredo's pancakes. Our pancakes are straight fire. 
and so on. So this is something really good. The other way you can customize the response is that you can go back to your prompt and you can just simply rewrite it. So you can click the pencil icon and in here you can include any additional details that you need to be specified within the response. And the last way, so if you think ChatGPT just got you wrong, you can click regenerate response. ChatGPT has the variability within it, so it will try a little bit different responses every time, even though the prompt is the same. So as you understand, in the addition to all of the techniques we presented before, there is also a feedback loop. So you can just give ChatGPT your feedback over and over again, and it will get better and better with time. A very important note for you is that all of the this prompt engineering and everything we did will work only within one chat. So if you will clear your chat, you will need to start from scratch. So that's why it's important to keep your projects tailored to each of the chats that you will have within the chat GPT. And now for the bonus. If you haven't heard about the Flow GPT, it will allow you to improve your prompts really quickly. Let me show you. Flow GPT has presets of really good prompts that you can just copy and paste within the chat GPT to get the expected result. If you're looking for a SaaS startup idea, for example, you can just copy the prompt that this person created and receive a really good response within the chat GPT. If you're looking for chat GPT to give you some images, you can use this prompt that very smartly using the Unsplash API and uh, with ChatGPT having access to it, it will be able to give you the image that match your text. This is a really neat way to find thumbnails for your blog posts. So there you have it. These three techniques will definitely improve your prompt engineering. And you need to understand that the more you communicate with ChatGPT or any other AI, the better you will get. Basically because they will frustrate you and you will try to explain them what's wrong. If at any point of the time you had questions, go ahead and comment them below and I will try to reply to them as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like so other people will be able to find as well and subscribe to my channel as I make much more content like this. Have a great day. Bye.